Hello guys and welcome to the part 2 of the video. Unfortunately I wasn't able to connect this keyboard to my computer as I previously explained in my first video. Uh, there is a problem with the receiver I believe or probably the keyboard itself. Uh, it doesn't seem to work unfortunately with the no matter what I've done, the settings that I tried to make and uh, how, how to properly connect this keyboard. Uh, I know for a fact that the batteries that is right here installed uh, they do work. I've tried on uh, other mouse and these batteries, the the Verta and the or the say or whatever this brand is, uh, it does work. So there is no problem right here. Uh, today uh, I have bought it uh, two keyboards, uh, two Logitech keyboards. Uh, th there was a guy on the internet that uh, was selling these kind of things, and I said uh, maybe I can uh, I could give it uh, a try and. Uh, trying the Logitech. Uh, this one was uh, 20 euros I paid for it, I uh, paid for it, pardon, and um, uh, this one goes untested. So according to the sellers, he said, uh, this one, uh, if, if you want it on a bargain, you, you can take it for 20 euros. And I said, yes, all right, sure. And uh, doesn't seem to be working, so this is quite unfortunate. So yeah, anyway, um, the only way that we can connect this one you're just pressing on the receiver once and after afterwards you're going to have to uh, to press on the uh, keyboard or the mouse uh, just like shown here you see the first one the receiver and after that to the mouse the red button anyway uh, the same thing goes for the keyboard we do have the keyboard right here in the next uh, figure right here yeah uh, so i'm going to do the same first time on here and the other right here flip around the the front of the keyboard and see if it works. So if you're looking at the start button and all that, it doesn't seem to work, it doesn't seem to do anything. So I believe there is a problem with the keyboard itself, or probably the receiver is not fully comparable with the with the receiver of course. Uh, this is uh, by the way this is from uh, another uh, keyboard, the receiver. And and the mouse anyway, but since it doesn't uh, doesn't work anymore, uh, I'm afraid I'm I'm going to put this aside and try the other keyboard. Okay, uh, this is the keyboard that I was telling you about. Uh, this is a totally different keyboard because uh, uh, it does look different, of course. But the way it's built and the the quality and all of that, it just of course it's just logistic. But uh, I like it more because uh, this one is uh, is looking very nicely, really. So let's focus to what kind of features uh, this kind of thing has right here, and uh, see uh, see what kind of button uh, really does. Anyway, uh, we do have this zoom right here. Uh, you can zoom in. Or zoom out. Uh, here you can use. Uh, you're having the percentages. Uh, the the percentage you can show. Uh, uh, this one is go for plus and minus. Um, down we have the uh, the arrows and the scroll. Let's see if it does work. You see in my channel it works. By the way, I'm using the Core 2 Quad uh, Q9550 right now. It's very slow and uh, is lack of uh, RAM right now. So if I'm pressing this one, it goes down. So if I'm pressing up, it goes to up. And the scroll, the scroll goes very nicely, to be honest. You see? Works very nice. Anyway. Okay, uh, we do have the cut. This is the button for the cut. Uh, if you remember the A4 touch, the the keyboard, the multimedia key keyboard that there is my, uh, there is in my, uh, uh, in in my channel. Uh, it had the same way. Uh, he had the cut, paste, and of course he had four. Um, he has the other buttons anyway. Right here, the, the copy, paste, and cut. There is four buttons instead of three. Anyway, this is the copy. Uh, we do see that he's having uh, the the files that are supposed to be copied. Uh, the enter is this one. The action probably is the, the shortcut from here to this area. Okay, let's press on this button and see what it does. 
I believe this one is often used for reading. So if you want to do something, you can increase from here just by pressing it. But uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Probably not not on this channel. But I'm sure that it, the the keyboard is fully functional. Uh, now let's focus to the other feature that it has: the digital media library. Let's press on this one and see if it does anything. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Let's go to the uh, digital media, uh, the other one. Mm, no, this one doesn't work at all. Let's go on the social media, probably this one. No, it doesn't do anything. My documents, supposed to work, but unfortunately it doesn't work with this one either. Okay, I believe there is a feature with the F mode, probably. So. Yeah, anyway, uh, it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, um, we do have right here uh, the other buttons. I believe this is using for the recording. So, uh, since the driver is not installed, uh, you cannot use it properly. So, yeah, uh, probably that's the reason that uh, this key doesn't work at all. Okay, the media also doesn't work. We do have the, uh, this one is using for the razor. It's not a razor, it's, uh, it's something else. There's another button right here. This is the mute, by the way. We do have the eject. This one, uh, it will eject the uh, the DVD burner um, tray. There you can, uh, so you can use the, um, so you can use the DVDs to, for the readings or programs or whatever you want. Uh, this one is used for the volume. And this one it says one, two, three. The audio presets. The camera will not focus, and you see the there are some marks because uh, since it's the second hand, the user uh, uses this very often. Uh, we do have the play and stop. Okay. We do have the email. It doesn't seem to do anything. No, it doesn't do anything. Uh, we do have the messenger, the messenger for the Yahoo, I believe. But since uh, the messenger, nobody using it today because it uh, was disabled. Uh, of course, he's not using it. Okay, this one, no. And the webcam, I do have the webcam, but it doesn't seem to work at all. Yeah, uh, we have the calculator right here, and of course. Uh, uh, this one is used for the standby, for your PC to go standby, in standby mode. Okay, and the PC went to the standby mode. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the the monitor goes black. Anyway, uh, the other keys that you can use right here. Uh, of course, uh, very similar to the other uh, Logitech that I, have, uh, that, I, that I showed you in my first video. We do have the Word, we, def, uh, we do have the Excel, we do have the uh, this one I showed you before, uh, the printer, uh, the safe. Uh, we do have A, B, C, D. This one is used for something else. I'm not sure what, but uh, I'm going to have to check it. Uh, this is Scroll LK, uh, Pause, and the F mode. F mode. I believe there is a feature that, unfortunately, uh, compared to the other Logitech that I showed you, uh, it doesn't have the FN key right here. So probably that's uh, you're gonna if you want to use the F F mode, you're gonna have to press this one too. But after you installing the proper drivers, of course. Which, okay, the computer st uh, started to work again. I press the F and uh, okay, so the computer works again. Yeah. So without the driver, uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, let's focus on the back and see what kind of. Uh, okay, we have the rubber. Uh, we, uh, no, pardon. Uh, this is the the clips, so you can uh, have your keyboard. Uh, this one goes like like that. Okay, and it's clicking. We do have this. This one is made for rubber. I know for a fact it's rubber. Okay. Uh, we do have the uh, right here is supposed to be the the wrist rest but unfortunately he doesn't have it so anyway I asked for it if he has the the uh, 
the, the rest, but he said, the seller said, uh, sorry, I don't have it. So anyway, this is another rubber feet. In this corner, again, we do have the rubber's feet. Okay, we do have the, the second clip. So you can uh, adjust your keyboard. The screws, and if you focus right here, we see what kind of model it is. So this is the the model is the Canada 200, uh, 210 and uh, this is the button for the connection like I said before. Connection check cables of course if it doesn't work uh, you're gonna have to check the, the cables and check check the batteries if they're good or not and after that, afterwards you, of course you're gonna connect the your keyboard. Uh, in here we do have the batteries this cap will pop up and we'll show you the batteries right here. Uh, I believe there is uh, two brands right here. This uh, the, the battery one is to, one is Toshiba and the other I believe is Varta or something. But they do work, so there is no no reason for pop up the cap again. And right here, let's focus here and see what it does. This is another serial. Okay, uh, probably is important. Okay, this is the warning. Some experts believe that. Uh, Use of keyboard may cause serious injury to hands, wrists, arms, neck, or back. So if you feel pain, uh, weaknesses in your area. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just use this precaution. Probably it's best to read before using it. But nobody does these kind of things. So yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you in, uh, in the comments uh, what do you think about this keyboard and. Uh, Sure, I'm going to have to uh, answer you to, to to your questions. Of course, if you have any, any, any. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching once again, and uh, see you in the other videos. Bye.